stems, the peaches, the booty, okay? We're doing all lower body today and then some core. Um, it will be, you know, lower body first and then core after, so you know, so it's not going to be like intermixed, okay? We're going to really focus on those legs. So what I'd like for you to have, if you have them, is sliders, okay? Um, make sure that they slide nicely on your surface area. Um, if you don't have sliders, you can still do the workout. You'll just adjust a little differently, okay? Not a big deal, but we can still do it. And then um, options for sliders, we don't have the actual real things. One, if you're close to me, I have extras, you can borrow them. Two, TJ Maxx is a great place to find them. TJ Maxx is open. I don't know if they have them there right now, but that's where I bought like eight pairs of them. I'm not even joking, okay? They were like three bucks, and I just loaded up on them one time when I saw them because I thought that's great. They're amazing for classes, and I want to make sure I have my supply. <laughs> now I have too many. Um, let's see, you can use plastic plates. You can use, chill, like, I know um, Target has like $1.50 plastic plate dinner plates for kids. They're very durable. You can use those because, I mean, let's face it, these look like dinner plates, right? Okay? Um, if you just have, like, the solo plastic plates, if you have a, a Dixie or a, gen a generic brand paper plate, as long as it slides on a surface, you can use it. If you have a wood floor and a folded up washcloth or hand towel, it can slide as well, okay? So you have lots of options. The last one that people have told me is furniture movers. So those things that you put underneath your furniture so they slide easily, those little discs, you can use those too, okay? Lots of options. If you don't have them, hopefully you do for today's workout. So we are going to warm up the legs, go right into our leg work. We are going to do 30 seconds of an exercise, like full out, and then we'll do um, 30 seconds of an exercise, either pulsing or halfway. And then we're going to do a hold at the end. So a real intense leg work. We're going to work like all of it, okay? Strong legs, strong body. It carries us through life. And the leg muscles make up the majority of your body, right? It's like a huge part of your weight is all those legs. At least mine. <laughs> big muscles is what I'm getting at. So big burners, okay? So let's strengthen them, work them, and let's just start with some squats, okay? So if you have your own music, put that on. Put your own fun playlist on. We are going to do regular lunges. We're going to do curtsy lunges. We're going to do pistol squats. We're going to do side lunges. We're going to do single leg sliders. And I know some of you have done those with me before, those circles. And you love them. You love them. Um, and then we've got some sumos with heel raises, some lunges with heel raises. And to top it off, a chair squat with heel raises. You'll see when we get there, your legs should be nice and fatigued, and you're really going to feel it. If you'd like to add weights, let's go ahead and open up sumo and we're going to sumo squat. If you'd like to add weights for extra resistance to this workout, you certainly can, okay? And I'll show you, I'll try to remember to show you what that looks like. Um, let me think here. I think that's it. I think I'll have to tell you for the leg section. When we get to core, we'll be using both sliders and no sliders, okay? Squeeze those thighs in the center. All right, now let's take some lunges. Make sure your space is clear. Lunge it on back. This is my beach today. I'm looking out at the beach. Isn't it a pretty towel? It's a yoga towel from Amazon. They have all sorts of them, like designs galore. It was really hard to choose, but I chose the beach theme with a beautiful sunset. And it works really well for my sliders. And it works really well if you just want to take it to the pool or the beach, your backyard. I would not suggest doing yoga on it, even though I think it's listed as a yoga towel. Okay? Alright, let's take some sit, some sub -ba side lunges. I'm awake today. I actually did a leg workout before this, so I'm, I'm crazy. I'm not gonna be able to walk tomorrow. It was on my schedule for my home workouts, so I gotta keep to my schedule, you keep to your schedule, right? Okay. And if you see me stop and talk to you, you're gonna keep doing the movement while I stop and talk to you. Got it? All right, come forward, full toes forward, tailbone back. Oh my goodness, get those hamstrings stretched out, okay? All right. Hold, hold, hold. Tailbone stretching behind you and then roll it on up one vertebrae at a time. I can get hurt by everything cracking in place. Okay, so first exercise is going to be a lunge. 
to the rear. So you can put your right leg forward and your left leg is going to go back. If you want to hold a weight, you will hold. I'll model it for you. One way to get your chest. Is there anything else you need to stretch out? Stretch that out, okay? While I talk. We're going to come down and back. Step into your front heel as you come up. That is so important. Listen to this cueing, okay? Sometimes when you take that leg back, you want to drag with your hip flexor and pull up because the weight is on your back foot. Do not put your weight on the back foot. It's on the front leg. Think 90% of the weight, 10% of the weight this time, okay? I need to get a timer going. That's our first move. We're going full out first. I'm already sweating. How about you? All right, come on, timer. Gonna work for me. Here we go. We're down and back, that 90-90 step up in this front leg heel. Down and back, step it all the way on up. Down and back, step it all the way on up. I gotta stay in my space here. My slider's coming off my towel. Down and back, see that 90-90 degree? And then I'm stepping up in this front leg. Do not pull with the hip flexor on that leg, you got it? Do you understand me? Down and back, okay? Feel good? You ready to pulse it back? We're gonna come down and just do a halfway. Do you see this? Halfway up, then halfway, then halfway, then halfway. Ooh, pushing that heel. It's just like a little, little slide of the back leg. Holy smokes. You guys ready for a hold after this? So if you have no slider, you are just gonna come right here and pulse it, okay? All right, everybody, come up. Come back down, we're holding for 15 seconds. So take your foot off the slider if you need to, okay? Weight in the front leg. You can put a little bit more in the back leg if you took that slider away. Four, three, two, one, come up. Do you feel that? Woo. I won't be able to tell if my legs are tired from this or what I just did. So you tell me how you feel. Other leg, left leg planted down. <sighs> We're gonna go down and back. We're gonna do our pulses. We're gonna do our hold. And then we're gonna move on to the next exercise. I'm so winded. How about you? Big muscle. We're gonna be breathing quick, really fast. All right. Ready, set, let's go. I gave you a nice little breathe right there. I might have to shorten that up though next time though. So step up in this front leg, back leg is just gently sliding in. You're putting your foot flat. You're staying out of your toe. You're in your heel. Okay, you're bending 90-90. Push and stand up. Shoulders are stacked over the hips. Core is tight. Okay. That was your last one. Let's move it into our halfway up pulses. So we're just here. Be real like robotic. Like we're about to take off, no not. Right there, okay? And again, if you don't have a slider, you're here. Or if you can't handle the slider anymore, you're here. Little pulses. Pushing into that front leg. Back leg's there for balance. You got eight seconds. Four, three, two, one, come up for a quick beat, find your balance. Take your foot off that slider if you need to. Come back to your hold. Hold, hold, hold. Bend both knees, stack your shoulders over your hips. Stay here, push your weight into your, into your heel. Front heel. And stand up. How are you doing already, good? This might be from earlier, I don't know. I'm not crying. Whew. Next set. They're gonna go fast. And we're gonna work like one leg with the other leg and then keep moving because there's a lot, like eight sets of work, eight different exercises, okay? If you wanna go back and repeat this and do a second set of everything, be my guest, okay? We're doing curtsy, sliders next. Curtsy, sliders, Let's start with the right leg. Make sure you have space to Booty comes out to that corner, leg comes behind, front leg bends, knee over the ankle. Step up into that heel, and we're going to come feet parallel on this first one. 
when we come for pulses, we're going to come to behind the heel. So it's 30 seconds all the way up, and then 30 seconds up the heel. Fix the music. I was ready to press something over there. Right leg down, left foot in the middle of the slider. Let's go. Down and back. Push up in your heel. Legs become parallel. Down. Push up. So same thing, 90% of your weight will be curtsy lunge, and then you're just gently pulling that slider up. No slider, no problem, you're here, okay? That's it. If you wanted to add a weight, you can just hold one weight at your chest, okay? We're going half seas right here. We're going right behind that ankle. So we're here to here. We're right behind that heel, I should say, okay? So we're going down, and then we're coming up almost all the way, got it? But we're not releasing the tension. We're feeling that in the inner and outer thigh, your glute, I feel it in my calf and even in my ankle for stability, all on this front leg. There's nothing, I feel nothing on my back leg, okay? All right, ditch that slider, hold. Right here, torso upright. Weight in that booty. Your weight is directly over this butt. Three, two, one, stand up. Shake it off. Stretch it out if you need to. I'm such a baby today. I'll warn you. Be stronger than me, be tougher than me. Let's go. 
we're down and up. I bend my knee, I stick my booty back, and my shoulders are still up. My chest is still up. So see how my butt pushes back, and I sink down into the standing leg. My knee is over my ankle, and then I stand up, okay? I'm trying to come down as low as I can. That will depend on your hip flexibility and your knee joint, okay? Come down and hold. You can do it this way, you can do it this way with just a little peg leg, or you can do it this way. Okay? I think I'm gonna stay right here. You can hold it a little bit longer, huh? How about 15 more seconds? Try to keep 95% of the way here. I'll give you like 5% on that other foot. Okay, hold, hold, hold. Can you get lower? Six, four, three, two, one. Other leg. How'd that feel? Not so bad, real quick. One leg than the other, okay? All right, so we're gonna put the heel on the slider, both toes facing forward, and we come down. Stick that booty back, let that leg slide forward. Stick that booty back, let that leg slide forward, okay? Or you've got a little kickstand, or you've got a figure four, okay? Really stick that butt back. Keep your knee over your ankle. If you shift your weight and your knee falls over your toe, guess what happens to that knee? Let's not do that, okay? All right, pick your stance and hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Are your legs shaking yet? You can keep your foot out in front of you. You can do your figure four squat. You can do this peg leg. Try to keep 95 and five, right? You got 15 more seconds yet to go. Hold it. Hold it. Just get a little bit lower. There we go. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, friends. Three, two, one. Water, air. Moving on. This time, we're going to lower down in a side lunge. So you'll take your right leg down and your other leg's gonna slide out to the side, okay? So watch my body positioning here, watch for me. Butt sticks back, tummy on the thigh, my chest stays lifted, I let that leg come out to the side, I push into my heel and I stand up. So out to the side, stand up. So, you're gonna want to push your foot on your slider and squeeze this inner thigh. It's actually not what we're doing. I want you to put your weight on a standing leg, 10% on that leg, let that leg slide in and do all the work on this leg, okay? You can do your inner thigh stuff later. In fact, I'm going to add it in the inner thigh, I think. It's not on my workout, but if I can remember, it's going to be the hard part. We'll add it in, okay? Actually, I have a couple of the ideas for that, okay? Because I know you ladies, you want to work those inner thighs, and maybe you gentlemen too, okay? So we're toes forward, step up into your heel. Stick your butt back, chest comes down, chest comes up. So I'm laying my tummy on my thigh, step, and then I'm coming right back up. This is a hip hinge stand. Hip hinge stand. This leg out to the side is just an accessory getting out of my way so I can get deeper in this lunge, in this little one leg squat, okay? Go ahead and hold it. We're gonna do a little pulses, we're gonna hold it. We're gonna pulse, pulse. If you are no slider, you're just gonna pulse on that one leg with that one out to the side, okay? All right, come back on up. That was 15 seconds, now we're gonna do our hold. Actually ditch the slider from the hold. Just one leg hold down right here, okay? Stay a little grip for you. Stick that butt back, okay? So we're like this, just holding. 95% of my weight here. Yep, I put even more weight in this leg. Okay, what I did was 30, 15, 30. Push off. So we gotta make sure we do it on the other side too. We're going 30 seconds, 15 pulse, 30 hold. Got it? You get five seconds to rest here. Toe forward, both of them. 
Let that leg slide out. Okay, weight in the standing leg, step up. Push your heel into the floor. Lay your belly on your thigh and come on up. Sink up from your back. Just remember form looks like this from the side angle, okay? Stepping in this leg. Other leg is an accessory, like a handbag. A really cute handbag. All right, little pulse is right here. So you're just pressing up and down on this leg. Okay, letting that one, it's on a roller. It's just okay. Three, two, one, ditch the slider and hold right here. So I'm really just letting that leg sit there. 5% of my weight, 90%. I'm so focused. Okay, my leg hurts. I know yours is too. Knee is over the ankle. Check your knee, check your knee. 10 seconds. We can do this. Breathe with me. Many of us have had children already. We can get through that, we can get through this. In time. Whew. I said many of us, not all of us. Okay? It's, if you haven't had kids, it's really not that bad. I had three, three of them, so obviously it wasn't so bad. I always think that's hilarious. People are like, it's really, oh, I have childbirth. And some people really have serious issues, so I'm not down playing that, but then they go and have more kids too, so it's like, was that painful? We want to do it again. Leg day is painful, but we keep coming back for it because we know it's good for us. Okay, so let me do an inner thigh work here with you. We are going to do, we're going to pull. We're gonna put this heel on the slider, okay? And we're gonna put the other leg down. You can slightly turn it out so we're kind of like plie, right? Okay. You're gonna come down and out, and now put pressure on that heel and pull in, okay? We're gonna go 30 seconds, and then we do something different with you. So we come down and out, push pressure on that heel and slide that in, down and out. So I would say I'm 50-50 with my weight right here. When I slide in, I'm like 90-10, and then I try to go 50-50, I'm probably 60-40. Do you like my percentages of weight distribution? Does it make sense to you? Hopefully it does. Okay, so squeeze those thighs together. So it's not even about putting pressure on that heel, it's more about squeezing those thighs together right here. Not so much here, right here, okay? Pause. Turn that foot out slightly and lift for me. Can you balance? If you don't have good balance, grab a chair. Okay? We're just lifting inner thigh right here. We're going to be here for 30 seconds. Okay? You're lifting right here. Yeah? You might have a slight bend in that standing leg. We're just lifting. This is my best bar class, you guys, right here for you. Why don't you do this in bar? Maybe. All right, that was 30 seconds. 30 seconds in a thigh cramp. Let's switch it to the other leg. So, slightly turned out, right? Heel on that slider, down and out. Squeeze the thighs together. Down and out, squeeze those thighs together. I'm really focused now on that inner thigh. Squeeze. Aren't you glad I added these in? Cool. I have four more exercises after this. One more with a slider, three more without. Okay. Oh, if you are a no slider person right now, you would just ditch the slider. Go ahead, everybody, ditch it. If you were a no slider person, you just do sumos. Sumo step ins. Here we go. Lift. Lift for 30. Okay, so I'm going to cross my midline a little bit and lift this way. Yes. Hold on for two if you need to. Find a focal point. Work on that balance. Use this part of your thigh right here to lift. That's activating the exercise, the movement. Right there. Not your toe. Your thigh right here. That was it. That was the inner thigh. One more with the sliders. You may hold a weight at your chest or a weight right here down by your leg, okay? We're gonna do 
circle sliders. So while all your foot goes in the center of that slider, you're gonna squat down, okay? All this weight right here. And we're going to circle, full circle, come back. Circle, full circle, come back. Everything weight-wise is right here in that booty, okay? Squat it and circle around. Ball your foot in the center of that slider. Okay? Squat down a little deeper. Sleep that butt back a little bit more. All that weight, standing leg. Circle around. We're gonna do one leg and then the other. I'm not gonna do any crazy pulsey things. We're just going around the world. Around. Squat down, you're coming out of your squat. I am too. That's what happens when you start feeling pain and then switch to the other side. We want to creep up out of it. We lose our depth. We want to come back on down. I'm giving you a little time to rest and breathe. I'm trying to keep this going at a good pace. Squat it so that you get a good burn. Are you sweating with me? Please say yes. Please say yes. I'm dripping. And I am feeling very warm. My legs are shaking. Like I said, if this wasn't enough for you, go back and do it again, okay? All the sets all over again. Maybe you want to just count up 10 of each instead of counting up or you know, putting on a timer for 30 seconds. Just count up 10 or 15 of each. 10, 12, 15, those are good rep counts, okay? And time. Oh, it's the sliders. For now. They'll come back to us when we do our core work. We're moving. We're moving here. So like sweat, breathe. Then meet me back in your space. Starting with sumos. Toes turned out, hips open, squared out. Knees are going to pull towards the back of the room. Oh, I'm just catching my breath, okay? Do you need a breath? A little breather. We are going to come down. Lift the heels, lower the heels up. So we are going to get some inner thigh here. We are going to squeeze the booty here, okay? That's our first 30 seconds. Our second 30 seconds is gonna be lift, lower, lift, lower. And then I think our 30 seconds at the very, very end is gonna just be one heel at a time. Okay, we got that? And my ears just plug. That was weird. Oh well, I'm gonna have an echo in my ear. Has that ever happened to you for like zero reason? Obviously, I was breathing weird or something. Sumo squats. Lower. Lift the heels. Come back up. Ready? Set. Go. Down. Lift the heels. Lower the heels. Squeeze. Down. Lift. Lower. Squeeze. What I like about this work right now, besides having no sliders, no, I love my sliders. What I love about this is that we lift the heels and as we press them down, it reminds you to really push in your heels and squeeze those legs, okay? If you rise up and you're pushing on your toes as you come up, you're gonna work more of a quad, the front of your body. I want you to work, go ahead and stop right there. The inner thighs, the back side of your body, the booty, okay? So when we're turned out, your inner thighs and come kind of the back side. All right, we're gonna come down, hold it, hold your low sumo, and you're gonna just lift, oops, let's do both heels. Up, down, up, down. This is great balance work, your core is tight, shoulders over the hips. Okay, we're not here, we're here. Lift lower, lift lower, drop that booty. Lift lower. We're gonna come out of this, and then we'll come back down and do alternating heels. I can't stay in this for a whole minute. I mean, I could, but I told you I was being a baby today. Rise up, shake it out. We'll come back down after 15 seconds, one heel at a time. Plus, I'm seeing a little bit of stars. So let's breathe, gather ourselves, and we'll come back down for it. Ready, set, squat it. One heel at a time this time, okay? Lift that heel high, roll through the ankle, Get on that ball of your foot, okay? Lift, lower, lift, lower. Try to keep your body weight stable and not shifting so we're not coming like this, okay? We're right here. Torso stays right where it's at. Shoulder over the hips, core tight. Woo! All right, ready 
for my nemesis move next. Come on, I'm out of it. Come on, I'm up, 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 out of it. Breathe. Breathe, breathe. Okay. Watch side profile. One leg comes back. Front heel lifts, lowers, stands up. Do that again. Lift, lower, push that heel, stand up. Do you see that? Again, love this because it reminds us as we push that heel down into the floor, we stand up. Okay? Okay? All right, 30 seconds of that. Then we hold it and just do heel lift, lower lift, lower lift, lower, and so we're just gonna do it. That's it, those two moves. I each like though. Okay, ready, set. Down and back, lift the heel, lower the heel, step it up. Down and back, lift, lower, step. Down and back, lift, lower, step. Exaggerate with me that heel push, step up. Okay, you're just stepping up a stair, right? Shoulders over those hips. Widen your stance if you're losing balance. Okay, that was it. Hold. Okay, next up. Let me show you from the front. So if you're coming back this way and you're losing balance, step out. Okay, hold here. Three, two, one, we'll begin. Hold here, lift, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. See what I'm doing? Feel lift, lower. Feel lift, lower. That's it. Small movement, rolling through the ankle. You feel your calf? Are your legs shaking? I'm like this. Woohoo, that's fatigue and adrenaline. Oh yeah, we got this. Step it up. Ready for other side. Remember we step back, lift the heel, lower the heel, stand up. Other leg. Three, two, find your balance. And let's go. Down, lift, lower, stand. Down, lift, lower, stand. Down, lift, lower, stand. Down, lift, lower, stand. So I'm gonna tell you something. I was like, oh gosh, I don't know if this leg workout is long enough. Because I count up the minutes, I'm like, okay, it should be about 30 minutes, okay? When I add up my timers, right? <laughs> oh, it's plenty long, you guys. You tell me. It's plenty long, right? Hold here. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know if it's enough work. I think it is, but again, repeat it if it's not. Um, this workout will stay up for you guys if you have the link. Take your stance. Lift lower. Lift lower. Lift lower. Shoulder those hips. Core tight. Lift lower. Lift lower. Likewise, if it's too much, stop it halfway or whatever, or, or like, and then go back into the other half later. Okay. You can customize these workouts for you. You can pause. You can take a break. You can come back. You can go help a, a child or an animal, a pet. Last one right here. If you need to, we have one more. You can always pause me and come back. I'll be here. Chair squat. So it means we're going to keep our feet about hip di a distance apart. We're going to go into this with me. Ready? Here we go. Squat down. Lift the heel. Lower. Squeeze. Stand. Down. Lift. Lower. Squeeze. Stand. Down. Lift. Lower. Squeeze. Do you see? Squeeze that booty. Down. Lift lower, squeeze. Down, lift lower, squeeze. Down, lift lower, squeeze. Down, lift lower, squeeze. Do you feel all that balance work? Your whole leg, hold it, stop. It's like the whole leg for that one, okay? Core tight. We're gonna stay on a low chair squat. Lift lower, heels. This is it, then we're gonna hit core. We're down, we lift, lower, lift, lower. You're gonna work on angle stability right here. Lift, lower. See what I just did? I couldn't hold it. A little micro hold, lower. Try to control it. Try to keep everything in one position minus the heels coming up and rolling through the ankle, okay? Lift, lower, lift, lower, and rise up. You nailed it. That's 
legs. Let's do a little forward fold and stretch and then we'll make our way down for our core work. Okay, legs are straight, toes are forward, and you're just gonna fold. Flat back, neutral spine, shake your head no, shake your head yes, it gives you a neutral spine, okay? And you come a little deeper in that stretch. I mean, that's a workout right there. We're gonna move on to some core work though. I'm only doing 30 seconds of every exercise and that's it, okay? We're not gonna do anything super, super long or we're, and we're not repeating, okay? So every exercise that we do, get the most out of it. Roll yourselves on up. We'll stretch, we'll do like pigeon and uh, straight leg fold on the floor when we are done with core, okay? We're gonna start with a V sit. V sit boat. I'm gonna leave this here for my slider work. And I'm going to come to my mat. You don't need a weight. Okay. You can see me here on this mat. Okay. 30 seconds, we're going to go bolt, V, bolt, V. Okay, 30 seconds. Go ahead and begin. So you get your V-sit, chest up, extend, and then come back on in. Remember, you can just come here if you need to, slight bend that knee. Otherwise, pull out. In my advanced people, you can go pull out banana for it. Okay? You choose. Stay with me. I have to pull the spine. Last one. Okay. Next up, you're going to take one knee into your chest, hold two, switch two, four, three, two, one. Got it? Head, neck, and shoulders comes up, knee to the chest. Ready, set, let's go. Hold two, switch two, four, three, two, one. Hold two, switch two, four, three, two, one. Hold two, switch two, four, three, two, one. Hold, 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 four, three, two, one. Hold, 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 four, three, two, one. Hold, 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 four, three, two, one. Done. Hug those knees in your chest. We're gonna lay down. Head, neck, and shoulders on the floor. Your legs feel like concrete right now, like. <laughs> All right, get your hands underneath those sit bones. Straighten out those legs. We're gonna flutter right here. Okay, so options are take them up a little higher. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders. And then the closer to the ground you get, the harder they get, right? Yeah, they feel like concrete, they feel like lead. Okay, so if you need to, keep it right here. You're still gonna work your core, okay? Especially if you feel like your legs are taking you, taking you down. Woohoo! All right, pause it. Oh my goodness. Drama, Tracy, drama. All right, so you're gonna put, you're gonna get an elbow plank, and I'm giving you to put um, two feet on two sliders, or two feet on one slider. I'm gonna put two feet on one slider, and I'm gonna come onto my elbows, and I'm gonna pull myself forward and back in a seesaw. Once you see this, once you get it, join me. If you don't want to do it on a slider, you don't have a slider, you just come forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Okay, just make sure that your booty is flat with your spine, okay? Three, two, one, stop. We are going to go into... A knee drop. Heels together. Toes out. Hands down by your side, or if you need to, put them underneath your butt. We're gonna come down, in, kick up, open. Down, knees to the chest, kick up, open. Okay, so when you pull your knees in, you are actually, um, go ahead and begin. You're actually pulling your toes together, pull your knees in, and then kick up. Knee, drop, 
in, kick up. Do you feel this in your lower abs when you hover your legs over the floor? Yes? Okay. I was waiting for your answer. You said yes, right? You know what I'm doing here? Oh yeah, abs. I think our abs were assisting us. Go ahead and hold those knees in. That whole time. What's next, guys? We're going to flip it on over. We're going to do dolphins on the sliders or off the sliders. You choose. Dolphins are elbow planks. And you're either going to pike up your hips, dolphin, with the slider. Or if you have no slider, you're going to pike up here to here, tilting your pelvic toward your chin. Okay? Okay? So, again, we're doing one set of everything. Okay, keep going. We're doing one set of everything, but if you want to go back and repeat this, you've got three, two, one, pause. If you want to go back and repeat this, you're welcome to. Okay? We're going to go into slow slider climbers, and then we're going to do two more exercises and we're done. Okay? So you'll need two sliders for this. If you don't have sliders, you're just going to pull your knee to your nose one at a time, so we're going to go slow. Knee plank. Knee plank. Knee plank. Knee plank. You have no sliders, you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to pull your knee to your nose. Knee plank. Check your shoulder lay over your wrist. How's your core? Are you getting tired? We're going to have abs of steel. We're going to eat good food today. And our abs are going to be made. Not only right here, go ahead and pause, but also in the kitchen. Pep talk yourself. Eat well, feel well, be well. Eat crap, feel crappy. You know you agree with me on that one. Man. Lay on your backs. Sizzle kicks right here. Okay? While you do this, you can do a little stretch. <laughs> right? Point those toes. Grab you to the calf. Or maybe you're grabbing your thigh. Or maybe you can even get all the way towards the ankle, that shin, okay, the lower calf area. Woo-hoo. Oh, come on, abs. And time. One more move. All right, so I've said it time and time again. If you watch me on Instagram stories, I say it a lot. You cannot out-train a bad diet. I'm sorry. We just can't. Elbows out to the side. Legs come up, heels together. Crunch like a frog, extend. Crunch like a frog, extend. Knees drop out, chest lifts up. Squeeze in the center. I tried out training a bad diet my whole life, and I am while trying still to this day to get out of that habit. Food, oh, I like to eat. I like the taste of food in my mouth. Go ahead and stop putting it in your chest. And I'm realizing that a lot because my I have a daughter that does the same thing, so we have to check each other, right? And I ask my family to check me, help me stay on track. And we talk about it in a way that it, we talk about healthy food and about feeling good. And I mean, they understand the vanity part of it, but we, I try really hard to not focus on that part. We just talk about strong, healthy bodies and the way that we feel. Go ahead and sit up. Versus, versus dieting or versus like fat skinny. Like we don't use those words in our house. We really don't. Um, we try not to, right? But we talk about foods that fuel and foods that are going to help you feel good. We talk about how when they eat sugar, if they get a belly ache, versus if they eat, well, my kids don't eat vegetables, I'll be honest, I try. <laughs> but versus them eating, let's say fruit, okay? Natural sugar, we talk a lot about that. So um, anyways, ask your family to keep you in check. That's what I'm getting at, okay? If you struggle yourself, say, I'm gonna need your help with this. This is my goal, this is what I'm really trying to do. And I know some of you are laughing at me because you have <laughs> family members that maybe live a different lifestyle is supportive, right? They will get on board eventually, hopefully, right? You set the example, you be the model, you be the person that says, this is what I'm gonna do, sing or swim the rest of you, but I'm gonna swim, okay? And you do it. Don't let them be your anchor, don't let them hold you back. You focus your mind on what you wanna do. 
yourself up all that willpower you have within you and do it, right? And when you need somebody to talk you away from the chocolate, talk you away from the wine or whatever it may be, right? Talk to me, message me, all right? Everything in moderation, right? You gotta find what works for you. Moderation, unfortunately for me, doesn't even work that great anymore, but it's okay. I'm going to figure it out little by little. And just know that you're not alone. There's a whole world of us out there. <laughs> I got a support group. You're welcome to join if you're not in it already, okay? And it really is supportive. I know it sounds funny because I was one of those people that never wanted to be part of a group. I was like, I can do this on my own. You're crazy. I'm gonna do it on my own. And then I, and then, I mean, I became not only a part of the groups, but I lead the groups and I realized how valuable it is and how nice it is to have a tribe of people around you working towards the same goals, women mostly cheering each other on, which is so awesome because we women need to lift each other up. That's what we do. Regardless of anything, we need to lift each other up. Okay, I'm done preaching. We're gonna stretch out these legs. I'm gonna get you out of here. Let me know what you think of leg day tomorrow. <laughs> when your legs settle and you're starting to feel it, right? I guarantee I'll feel this tomorrow, okay? Um, I'm going to actually think about that as I plan the workout for tomorrow. Um, I have it planned and I might have to tweak it based on what we did today. So just remember too that I'm going to post the workout tomorrow, but no workout on Friday. So if you want to do tomorrow's workout, save it for Friday, I'm going to leave it up. Again, it's going to be one of those unlimited as long as you have the linked workouts, okay? Um, so just know that if you're really sore tomorrow, and you just feel like I can't do the next workout, I need a rest day, go for it. Just make sure that you do a little bit of walking or something and then stretch out your legs tomorrow. You're gonna have that lactic acid buildup and the best way to get rid of that is loosening it up, warming up the muscles and stretching it and then drinking a lot of water too to kind of flush and open up the muscles, the tissue and release that lactic acid. You wanna release it from your muscles and the way you do that is by making your muscles pliable by warming them up and stretching them out, okay? All right, let's take one more stand here, forward fold. I'm not gonna do anything with your arms and chest and shoulders today stretching out. If you feel like you need to stretch those, please do. Otherwise, we're just gonna do this last hamstring stretch and roll it all the way on up. I lied, one more stretch here. Figure four. If you need to, hold on to something, right? Or if you need to come down to the floor and sit and do the stretch. Open up that hip. Okay, and then do the other hip. I think I got these pretty good when we did butterfly. But let's try this other side real quick. If you need to, quad stretches. We weren't in the quad as much. It was more of a um, stabilizing muscle. I really worked the back of the legs and the butt today for you. You're welcome. It's the part of the legs that we really need to strengthen, right? Get that booty lift. And then the, the back of our hamstrings propel us forward. They should, but most of us use our quads. So inhale up. <sighs> Such good work. Thank you for joining me. Have an awesome day. Walk your way through life a little bit taller. Thanks, guys.